All right, uh, we're back, we're back uh, with the second video. Now in the first video, we talked about what is a segue, the kind of segues, properties, and transitions. In this video, I'm gonna show you how we do preparing for a segue and how we pass information back and forth using these segues, okay? So let's go back to our application. <clears throat> and the idea is that you can do something before you go to the next screen. It's screen. So you can do, for example, one example, one typical example is that you can pass information from one screen to another screen. So how do we do that? How do we pass information from one screen to another screen? All right, in this V controller, first of all, I'm gonna create a property and it could be, this is a simple example uh, in this second view controller, I'm gonna create a, 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 a var um, value and then I'm gonna make it string, okay? And I'm gonna make it initialize it too so I don't have to make it conditional, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm making, a, creating a, a property. Now that could be just a simple string it could be an entire class, it could be an in, uh, object, it could be an image, you can, it could be anything, any data type that you can present in iOS, you can actually pass it to this, uh, pass it to, uh, pass it around between these view controllers. So now if I go back to the view controller, first one, we have that one that we just created that function and we're gonna use that in the next part here in a minute, but we have something called prepare, uh, you see that when you type in prepare, prepare for segue UI, uh, UI storyboard, the type and the sender is in. What does this do for you? This function is actually exists in the view controller. So you're overriding a function that exists in a view controller, uh, UI view controller, here it is, right? So what do you, what can, what, how do you use this? This get executed every time you move, let me go here, Every time you move from Windows screen from this screen to this screen using segways, all right. So this function is executed every time you move from here to here. That's important. Okay. So what happens in here? You go to the view controller. You say, okay, I can use this parameter that is sent to me and say, I want to know where I'm going. I could have multiple lines. I could have multiple buttons. I could have. Uh, uh, a segue not connected to a button, and I'll, I'll explain this in a minute. So what you can do, you can say, if you can get two things of importance to us here. One of them is that there's two value. One of them is segue dot identifier. What does that do for you? That give you the ID that you typed in for that identifier. So for that segue, so if you go back to the storyboard, this is the line and I gave it a title. Do you see that? I gave it an identifier. So whenever I click on this and it's going to that screen, this segue is executed and then the identifier of that segue is screen two. This is important. If you have another line, for example, if you have another button that goes to another screen, for example, that will have, let me just show you, if we had a button here, and I have another segue, okay, for example, show again, and I have, I can give it a different title now to this guy, this one here, and then I say dummy, all right? Um, or second, okay? So what happens now, in your code, you can check, am I clicking, basically, am I clicking on this button or this button? I'm going to this screen using this button or that button. So we go back to the view controller. You can say, if identifier equal, for example, this is the first step, if identifier, you need to know where you're going. If identifier equal, remember what was that, screen one, that means I'm going to screen one and I can do things related to screen that I'm going to screen one, all right? You can do else and then you will have another F or else or switch a statement. So you can have many of these. All right, so that's the first thing. You can check the identifier by 
using this property identifier and the ID, the identifier that you gave to that segue. All right, the second thing is that usually in the cases that you want to pass information, you wanna know, you wanna get the destination controller that you're going to. So there is another one called if you say let A equal to segue and dot destination. So what does that give you? That gives you the view controller that you're going to, but it doesn't know in the program, it doesn't know, in the storyboard it knows, but here it doesn't know what type of view controller you're going to, so you need to cast it. So you say as, and then it's an optional uh, variable. So what do you do as the name of the class that you're going to? So I'm going to this second view controller, so I say second view controller, okay? Now I got the object, and if I have the object, I have access to all its properties. So if you go to the uh, second view controller, there is one property that we created, it's called uh, value, right? Uh, okay, you can change it if you want. All right, best. Uh, yeah. Value, all right, leave it as value. All right, so now what you do is that you go to the main, to the view controller and you can say, okay, what I want to do is that I have the object A and I have the property value. Now, here's a trick. You cannot set the, you have to be careful of that. You cannot set the uh, label value for, you can't say, for example, LBL, and I'll show you why, uh, LBL to that text equal the value here. And why is that? Because you can say txt, we have a text value here, right? I'll just put abc here. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, I'll be surprised if it works. I'll, I'll be wrong, but <laughs> let's see. That's not the first time I'd be wrong, but let's try it. What happens is when I'm expecting it to crash, but I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna say until I see it. What happens is that you click on this, it worked, and but what happened? What happened here? It did not give you the value. Why the value here it was not given? Okay, the reason that that value was not given yet is that 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 object has not been initialized yet. So if you go to the uh, the uh, if you go to here, it says a label one dot text that has not been loaded to the to the screen yet. So you don't see the view did load has not been executed. So you don't see the value. So what you have to do is that you assign the attribute, uh, the attribute, which is what did we call it value, all right? That we've created to this value ABC, okay? And now if you go to the view controller, the second view controller, what you can do in here in the view did load, you say, okay, I either have a value or have a blank. So if I do have a value, what you say, lbl2.text equal to the value that is being sent to me, either sent or blank, okay? And now that should do it, that should work. And you do that in the view did load. Now you can do the view did appear and all of that. So now if you do try me, and uh, where is ABC? There is no ABC. Why that is the case? All right. Let me put it on pause for a minute. All right. I just committed uh, a mistake that most of us will do it at one point or another. Okay. So here, what's going on? I'm gonna, the problem is with this uh, view controller, this prepare for takeaway. Okay. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to put a breakpoint in this prepare for segue and to show you what the problem is. So how to debug a problem in this case. Why the information is not being passed to the second view controller. The reason is if you run it, and then you click on that, and that's why it did not crash. I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> Look what happens. Now if you click on try me, it went here, 
watch, step over, it skipped it. It did not do this part. And that's why I was, it did not crash for some reason. And the reason is this value is not the same value that we put in the identity. And this is a very, very common mistake. So what do you do? You go back to the uh, storyboard, you make sure that, okay, it's screen two and not screen one. So if you go to the view controller, you see that I have screen two. And to prove you that I was right, hopefully this time, I'm gonna make that label again and see what happens. The text and see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna run it again and let's give it a try. It's a good lesson of debugging. It crashed. And why did it crash? Because that object has not been created yet. And this is what you should have seen in the first example, all right? So to avoid that, you don't assign any UI elements on the screen to a value. You assign it to the properties and in the view did load, in the view did load here, uh, in the second view controller, you can actually do what you can, uh, you can assign the value to it in the view did load or view did appear, all of that stuff, okay? So that's how we pass value to the second view controller. Now, how do I pass value to the first view controller, right? Now, I have this value ABC, right? This, this value has ABC value coming from there. If I change this value, let's say value equal um, A, 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 triple A, okay? And let's see what happens now. What I want is that I want to, I, usually what happens is that you do some programming, you download, you do processing, and then sometimes you wanna pass information back to the view controller. There are different ways to do it. One of them is using delegates, and then you execute a function in the delegate, fun, uh, a delegate function in the first view controller. And this one may be easier because I just pass it back immediately when I'm done, when I undo the unwind segue. So what happens is that you go, to the view controller and we have a function here called what? Back. And we have a segue here, very similar to this segue. So now, instead of doing what we did, we do the opposite, the reverse. So I say, I know I'm coming back from that view controller. If I have another view controller, you'll have to check which view controller you're coming to using the identifier, all right? But since I have one, I'll say here, let, uh, and VC equal what? Equal segue. And now we use, instead of so destination, we use source view controller. Who initiated that segue? In that case, it was, I'm coming back from the second view controller, so it's my source. And what do I do in here? I cast it as same thing as this, okay? Because I'm coming back from there. Okay, and now I have access to all its properties. So I can say, I have a label here. What do we have a label? Label one, we we'll say LVL1 dot text equal to what? Equal VC dot value. Remember that? Okay, now I can get the value back, all right, after I did some processing to it. Now let's see if that works. Now, if I do this, try me, I got the ABC. If I got back, remember in that view controller, we change it to AAA. Now I should get back AAA in this one. All right, so that is how we pass information back and forth between uh, view controllers using a segue. It, just to summarize it quickly, we make sure that uh, we, in the prepare for segue, we use two things, the identifier and the destination. The identifier tells me where the screen I'm going to using the ID that I typed in. And this is a typical mistake. You saw that mistake is that you generally, because you type this, sometimes you mistype it and then you can't find why is it not passing information. The other thing that you use is that the destination 
which is the view controller that you're going to, you get the object, and once you get the object, you get access to all its attributes, and then you can assign any attribute you want into that second view controller you're going to. Uh, and again, uh, a major issue here is that you cannot update the UI elements under the, the second view controller because as they have not been created yet, they are nil and they are crashed. And you saw that uh, in the example. Uh, the last part here is that when you want to pass back information, you use the unwind segue you, in, the, in the, the, the view controller that I'm, I'm in uh, and say, okay, give me the source of view controller and you can say, okay, what, uh, use the source view controller, and once you get the object, again, you get access to all its property, and then you can update anything in this view controller. If you go to the second view controller, uh, usually you have a property that you get its value from the other view controller, and usually we do things in the view did load to update the screen or do something with these values, all right? That is it for the second part. There would be one more about the conditional uh, segues and performing segues programmatically. I'll see you in the next uh, video.